$2,500. Will! Hill! <laughs> Daddy, I need $500. Hill, you should really consider expanding your vocabulary a little bit. Hillary, honey, if it's for the barbecue we're catering this afternoon, we have already paid you. Oh, it's not for the barbecue. I just want $500. <laughs> Oh, come on, Hill, please. At least kiss him first. Dad, I need $200. I'll take him to Hillary Land. <laughs> Why do you need $200, Hillary? For books. I'm changing my major. To what? Communications. And exactly what does that entail? Well, you know, it's, it's like, you know, it's communications. You know, it's like the study of communicating, OK? <laughs> Why you want to major in that? Because I'm good at it. <laughs> um, Daddy, now you know how much I love you and would do anything for you, right? All right, Hillary, how much do you want? No, I'm talking about, well, $100. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was talking about the election. Now, for me to vote for you in good conscience, I need to know where you stand on the issues. Okay, well, I'm uh, against plea bargaining. And yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. But where do you stand on a woman's right to choose the restaurant? I think we should leave that up to the Supreme Court. Well, Hillary's been through a lot. I'm sure she has a rational explanation for what she's saying. Of course I do. There's a TV psychic who can channel Trevor's spirit. Okay, I owe you one. His name is Scorpius, and I've arranged for a seance. Hillary, sweetheart, you don't really believe in the seance mumbo jumbo, do you? Believe in it? I spent $300 for it. <laughs> Honey, you spent $300 on a seance? Not on the seance, for the seance. I needed a new hat. <laughs> the $1,000 Scorpius is charging, I just put on Daddy's gold card. <laughs> now I can say goodbye to Trevor. <laughs> Why aren't you talking? I'm not not talking. I'm just not talking. Why aren't you talking? I am talking. I'm the one who just asked a question. You're the one not talking. Having to participate in this inane conversation would keep anyone from talking. Well, I just think you're feeling guilty, and that's why you're not talking. What in the world would I have to feel guilty about? You profited from another's misfortune. You're the one who went to the shelter to get the free publicity. Yeah, but you're the one with a letter of recommendation in his pocket. Face it, you're a taker. I'm a taker. <laughs> Miss Daddy, can I have $300? Right, Mr. Hey, big guy, can I have a copy of your will just in case something happens to you? That's called prudent planning. I can't believe how hard it is to find a beachfront place with a pool and tennis court for $500 a month. I mean, what's happening to this country? It's enough to make me want to vote. <laughs> Maybe you should lower your standards a little. You're not going to be happy until I'm living in a trailer eating Spam on a Ritz. <laughs> I mean, that's where this is going, isn't it? Uh, sweetheart, I found a few places that don't look so bad. <sighs> I'm beginning to get the idea that you want to get rid of me. Run with that. <laughs> Hillary, Hillary, listen. I'm in big trouble. I need your help. What's wrong? Look, I, I just need $300. $300? What for? Hey, young blood. Man. Y'all sure got it going on up in here. Will, who is he? Listen, Hillary, he's from the pool hall. I, I just lost a couple games, and I need $300. <gasps> you blew $300, and you don't even have a sweater to show for it? 